Hey Vortex. I know this is kind of an awkward angle. <laughs> Dude, it's like almost one o'clock in the morning. We are driving on both sides of the road right now. You want proof of this? You want proof of this, baby? I'll show you. Isn't that cool? Yeah, we're driving on both sides of the road. Cause fuck it. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. Dude, I wonder if my third box of CDs came in the mail. That would be really cool if it did, but I don't think that it did. I think we gotta wait. We gotta wait one more day. Look at that. That cold brew really wants to come out of the cup. <laughs> we gotta drive slow, so we save the cold brew. <laughs> yeah, don't you love how it's like it could it could pour like directly onto your phone? Yeah, that could happen. Hold on, hold on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> fucking hate speed bumps. Whoever invented speed bumps is a fucking Nazi. He's a fucking Nazi. Speaking of Nazis, I received interesting information tonight. Okay, I was told... I was told by Kanan... Kanan Pritchard... One of the smartest people in the whole Nashville comedy scene. He's fucking hilarious. But he was um, talking about how represent the Waho. Waho represent. You like all my keyboards? It's like kind of ridiculous how many keyboards I have. There, there are four keyboards in this motherfucker. See that? There's a keyboard down there too. See that? You can barely see it, but I promise it's there. It's my little toy keyboard that I got at Goodwill. But, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Kanan told me that Adolf Hiller was on meth. <laughs> I'm trying not to spill this coffee. That's why I'm, I'm driving so slow. Um, gotta savor that cold brew, you know? But anyway, yeah, so Hitler had a crippling mess problem, but he used to shoot it up. Isn't that interesting? It's food for thought, you know. It's interesting. That's not my food for thought, though. That's like historical food for thought. If it gives you some insight into the brain of Adolf Hitler and the kind of stuff that he was doing that was wrong. So it wasn't just his views on the Jews, you know. He was on methamphetamine. But anyway, you guys, I'm trying not to shoot as many videos. But I'm failing right now. Because I'm pretty sure I've shot like five tonight. It's still not as many as you have been shooting. Like, you've been trying to cut back a little bit. Yeah, I really have to work on this show. I have like, like 17 days to come up with this 
upset. I'm really excited. Kanan's gonna be on it. Kanan, John Hickok, Shane Bianchi, Terrell. I forgot who else I asked. You asked Eric, but he couldn't do it because he said he was going to like Idaho or something. Yeah. God, who else? Who else did I ask? Oh yeah, Swiss. But yeah, there's somebody else. I think I'm gonna have to add somebody else. Maybe, maybe not. Cause I said I was gonna give them seven minutes. So it's seven times five, 35. Okay. So I'm gonna have to add another comic. Are you sure? Yeah, I have to add another comic. So that'll be 42 minutes. So that'll give me time to do an intro and then sort of roast them. I don't really roast people, like. We were talking about that tonight, like comics that just like haze each other and stuff. It's a lot different if you're like roasting people in good fun versus like roasting people because you're an insecure pansy candy ass that should have just killed yourself before you ever step foot on a stage and held a microphone and pretended to be funny. You know, a lot of people do that. Like there's this dude who was like talking about how this like chick was like giving him shit for doing musical comedy. Like I'm not a fan of musical comedy either, but I told him, I was like, you should have told her, yeah, well, you're a female comic. <laughs> I'm the only female that can do comedy, right? And that's because I have a man in my head. So. So many females are like fucking stereotypical, useless trash. Like, I, I wish that women, like, I don't want to say like that women shouldn't be allowed to do it, but well, I guess that is what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I just think that there are very few women that are like going to be doing that for the right reason. Now, granted, that's a problem with men too, though. So it's like, it's so hard to, to just knock women for this shit when you have men behaving just like them. And they're being trained to do that by society. So, you know, what can you do? <laughs> so Todd sent me a text message that said, you're up next and your food has been done for a while. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I ate it cold. I don't give a fuck. Food is still food, man. 